Hey everyone, thank you for watching. In today's video, I am so excited to do, we have a lot of reviews to do today. This is gonna be my attempt at speed reviews. I have a lot to share with you. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, welcome. So I do start my videos with an outfit of the day. I'm gonna move my dog's chair out of the background because she's decided to lay by the window. She's on her bench next to her window instead. Um, this is my outfit. I feel like it looks like I'm going ready to go golfing. I have no plans, but this just seemed cute. This is a skirt and just a top. Um, I think I got both from Amazon like last year, but I can try to link anything that I'm wearing in my description box, including my makeup. I just finished filming for my members exclusive video for the month of April. It was just a probably a very long chatty get ready with me answering some of your questions. I have a lot of the products I was just pulling from my little container here. Um, so a lot of the products are on my face today. If you remember, you can check that out when it goes live. And I've also created a Geneva group chat for us. So we can chat over there and I can send out um, reminders when videos go up or if we have our live chats for those on the second and third tier levels. So make sure to check the community tab so you can get that link to the Geneva group chat. So that is everything. But like I said, I have, I have a lot of products. I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pull from here and we'll just go through the speed reviews like that. Speed is not my thing, but I'm gonna try to make it my thing today. I'm gonna be reviewing all of the new products that I've tried this year, except for eyeshadow palettes, because I did just do a video ranking all of the eyeshadow palettes that I've tried so far in 2023, so you can check out that video. But everything else I will be reviewing today, some items I've actually already decluttered from my collection. I've been trying to not try as much makeup this year, buy as much makeup, keep as much makeup. I wanna do regular declutters. Uh, but let's jump into it. Okay, one product I've really been liking. I have this on today, and I think that it's super beautiful. This is from Tower 28, and this is their Sculptino, their contour bronzer shade. And I have the shade Broad, so it is a cream product. Today, I applied it with a brush. Oftentimes, I apply it with a damp sponge. This is beautiful. It's very easy to apply. It blends easily into the skin. Uh, I don't think that when I'm applying it, it's not like picking up my foundation or anything like that. I've applied this over powder foundation. And I also think that it gives a very kind of like natural, like dewiness to the cheeks that I really appreciate. So if you prefer more of a matte bronzer, this probably isn't going to be for you. But I just feel like it gives a nice kind of like healthy bronzy glow, yet at the same time being a little bit more cool tone, like a little bit more contour. I, this makes a really nice product. I wasn't sure what I was going to think about it. I'm not the biggest fan of um, the Tower 28 like highlighters and I know a lot of people really love their lip products and I'm just kind of like so-so about them but this this one I can get down with that. I think I'm going to be wearing that a lot this summer. Another product that I think is just flawless. I've been wearing it so much. I'm wearing it today. This is from Lawless Beauty and this is their perfecting powder. I have the shade light medium. I have not enjoyed a powder this much since my Dior Powder No Powder. I have been wearing this nonstop. It's a very nice like soft matte filter to the skin. And what I've said about the Dior is that it can kind of like really change. Like it really makes, it looks like you put that like what's called bold and glamour TikTok filter on your face. That's kind of to me what the Dior can do, which sometimes that's what I want. This is more of a natural filter, if you will. And it's not too heavy. I think it really smooths out the skin. I just have concealer and then the powder on today. And I think this is great. It's nice coverage. Again, it's not too heavy. This one I've been super impressed with. I put it on in my demo today. I've been trying new makeup with both of these. Um, and then I also did a shorts on YouTube as well with that powder and it's been a good one. Another product that I really, I, I think is phenomenal if you are into this type of product, which I don't wear a lot. I actually meant to put it on today and I forgot. It's from Rare Beauty and this is their new highlighter. I have the shade Ex Exhilarate. Exhilarate. This is a beautiful highlight. It is so stunning. If you love a good like blinding highlight, but also one that kind of just, I don't know if I want to say naturally, but it's not one that is so obvious that you're wearing a highlight, yet it's it's obvious that your, your cheeks are glowing. I don't know if that makes any sense. This is 
beautiful though. I just don't wear highlight a lot and I tend to always forget the step. But recently, if I have been remembering to highlight, this is the one that I have been going into. So if you're a highlight lover, this is absolutely gorgeous. I know these highlights have been getting great reviews. They really are so stunning. I did receive the Chucky collection from Glam Light. It was my first PR package from the brand, which was kind of funny when I talked about the Glam Light Chucky palette in my ranking palettes video. I mentioned that I'm not a movie girl, I'm not a horror girl, but I was down to try this Chucky collection and I was very impressed with it. This blush is quite stunning. So this is the Honor and Obey Blush Duo. And with these, the shade inside is the same. Um, I mentioned in one of my videos that um, th it was actually supposed to be two different shades, but because of like some production issues, it ended up having to be the same shade. So you're not going to get the two different shades, but this blush shade is very stunning. It reminds me a little bit of the Dior Rosy Glow blush, but also in the fact that it's bright, it really makes the cheeks pop, but it is incredibly long wearing. Like if you are entering into the warm months like I am, it's 97 degrees in Las Vegas today. I'm thinking about sweat proof makeup, waterproof makeup, makeup that's gonna last in the heat. This blush, just like the one from Dior, is not going to move. And again, I like that it gives a really nice pop, like a really nice flush to the cheeks. This blush is really beautiful. And then I do also have the Chucky lipstick. So I also did a video recently swatching all of my lipsticks in my collection. I said all of my nude lipsticks, but really that just means like all of my lipsticks in my collection. This one from the Chucky collection is kind of like a darker, like rosy mauve shade, but it's beautiful, it's creamy, easy to apply, looks a little bit more matte on the lips though, which is my preference. It has a good wear time to it. You know, as long as you don't mind little Chucky being on the cap here, like pulling out in front of your friends, they're like, girl, you got a Chucky lipstick? Like what's going on over there? Um, just point them into the direction of the Glam Light website, you know? But this is a really nice formula and I thought it was a beautiful shade. Some more blushes that I have here. I was a little bit surprised that I ended up enjoying the Charlotte Tilbury matte blush wands so much. I like the Charlotte Tilbury wands, the contour wands and the highlight wands are my favorite. The blush wands, like the, the one that I've had in the past, I thought was good, but I've really been gravitating towards these quite a bit, especially the one in Pillow Talk. It's just your nice nude, and I think that it's super easy to use. You've got the floof ball here, very easy to blend out. It looks very natural on the skin, but I also really do like um, pink, pink pop and peach pop. Peach pop, pink pop. I did declutter the one in dream pop, which is more of like the red shade. I just wasn't really down with that shade. And I also felt like out of all of them, all four that I tried, that one was the hardest to blend and like make look natural. These three shades though are beautiful. I recommended these in my Sephora recommendations video for the sale. But again, pillow talk is going to be my favorite shade, but just like with so many of Charlotte Tilbury cheek products, complexion products, I find them very easy to use and they're just, it's like they make you yourself but better, like your cheeks but better. If you will. An item that I did end up decluttering was the Makeup Forever HD Skin Palette. So I have this in my last declutter video. So this was a face palette that had multiple cream products in there, foundation, concealer, blush, bronzer, highlight. Unfortunately, I had a really bad skin reaction to that palette, so I could not wear it. Now I'm not saying everyone's gonna get a skin reaction. And I thought it was a nice palette for everything that you were getting. I wanna say it was maybe like $85, which seems expensive, but you're getting foundation, concealer, blush, I mean, all of that stuff, you know, a foundation by itself can cost 50 to $60, depending on what brand you're buying it from. So I felt like there was really a lot of value in there, and I, I felt like the cream products blend it really nicely, but unfortunately, my skin had a severe reaction. I was breaking out everywhere when I was trying that, and when I ceased to try it, my skin was going back to normal, so... Something about that palette was not working out for me, so unfortunately, I had to declutter that one. I did also declutter the Milk Makeup Contour Stick. I just wasn't really loving it, but I do have the bronzer stick in here. So these are now like little teeny tiny sticks from Milk Makeup, which I definitely don't mind the size because I feel like it's so hard to go through full-size makeup, and the ones from Milk Makeup were like, almost like jumbo sizes before. They were so large. It was really hard for anybody. Like 
you know for me I have a larger collection and I'm trying makeup a lot but I was even hearing from those with smaller collections or you use that product every single day and you were still saying mine was expiring and going bad before I had used it all the way up so I don't mind a smaller price I do or a smaller um, size I wish the price would have been a little bit different um, it, I think it was right around the same price tag which I would have wished for like maybe something a little bit cheaper um, because to me these look like minis when I first got them I thought they sent a PR package of minis out but the bronzer stick I think is beautiful this is the one in baked I've had the full size before I decluttered it again because it went bad it's easy to blend out it's very natural on the skin it's a very easy cream bronzer to use but with the contour, I just felt like whenever I wore it, it was just kind of blending into nothing. And sometimes with contours, it's like, maybe that's a good thing, but you just want a little bit of like shadow to the shape. I just felt like nothing was happening with the contour stick. So I ended up decluttering that one, but I do like the bronzer stick. Another product that I am wearing today and I have just been loving is from It Cosmetics. This is their Bye Bye Dark Spots Corrector and Serum Concealer. This really surprised me because I am not super loyal to it cosmetics there's not a lot of products from the brand that i'm like ride or die for and i've tried some of their like cc creams which are quite popular and they just don't work out for me i got this in pr and was like you know i'll at least give it a try i like to test out concealers i use the shade medium neutral so you have a little brush on top again this was in my last trying new makeup and i did use it today this has been gorgeous on the under eyes it's beautiful it gives you a nice amount of coverage without being too heavy it doesn't look like i'm wearing a lot of makeup on my under eyes and it also gives the under eyes a nice like glow like it brightens them without highlighting them which i really enjoy and then also it's supposed to be good for dark spots so i do deal with acne so i have it on any acne marks and then like today i just put this on and then the lawless powder and that's all that i need like there's some great foundations right now there's some you know tinted moisturizers that i really love but if I can just get away with a concealer and a powder, especially in the warmer months, I'm down for that. And this one from It Cosmetics has been key. It's one of my favorite, favorite products right now. Also on my lips today, I have from NYX and this is their Fat Oil Lip Drip. Okay, I'm not really loving this one and I'm, I'm, I'm bummed about it because I really wanted to. I love lip oils. Again, I don't know. I think maybe it's like a little bit more of a shade thing. I have this shade uh, News Feed and I was kind of struggling with picking out a shade. There wasn't a lot that was really jumping out at me and I finally ended up going with this one and I just feel like it's, I, like, I think I would prefer more of just a regular nude. I feel like there hasn't been a lip liner that I'm like really sold with it. And I don't know, like it's a nice lip oil, but it just doesn't give me the feels like the Sigma Beauty lip oil does. That's kind of the one that I go back to over and over. I was really hoping to find like a more affordable one from NYX and like it's okay, but I don't think it's going to be what I keep reaching for, which I'm sad about because I feel again, like I feel like everyone's been loving that one and I'm just kind of like... It's okay. My friend Risa Does Makeup did a collab recently with BK Beauty and she came out with four different styles of lashes. Now my favorite lashes are the Martini. I did get a second pair because I also, I got a package in PR and then I also went to Risa's launch party um, because we both live in Las Vegas. So I was able to attend. So these are my second pair that I got that are still nice and fresh in here so you can see these and these are the half lashes so i don't wear false lashes all that often i have pretty sensitive eyes and i'm usually pretty quick when it comes to doing makeup so oftentimes i'm just like not trying to deal with lashes but if i am wearing lashes i do like to gravitate towards half lashes so martini is a great pair and the bk beauty lashes are very easy to work with the band is like sturdy enough that it's not like super hard to grab onto with my claw hand here and it's also not super thick to where like super thick bands i think are very noticeable and i also feel like they get heavy and like scratchy on my eyes these are beautiful though if you have a favorite style of lashes from reese's collab i would love to know but if you're looking for some good ones try out these from bk beauty I do have a discount code with them it's not an affiliate code just a discount code to get you 10 percent off and that is samantha 10. another lipstick that i had in my swatching all of my lipsticks these are from sigma beauty and this is the infinity point lipsticks and the shade that i have been trying is in new mod so this one is more on your like just beautiful like i just love me a good 
mauve lipstick. I think that one is so pretty. And I like the infinity points because the way that they are shaped, it comes to this more like pointed edge here. And something about like, especially lining like your top lip, like it's just, it's super easy to apply. It's very creamy. It is more of a satiny shade, which I do prefer more of a matte. But mauve lips are one of my favorites to wear as well. So when I'm in that mauve moment, this is a good one. Again, a good wear time. It doesn't slip and slide around the lips too much. Sometimes it's just hard. You want to make sure that you put it in the right way or you have it down all of the way so you're not like getting it with the different way that it's shaped. But that's a really beautiful lipstick from Sigma Beauty. I do have an affiliate code with them and that one is Samantha. Okay, let's just talk about how much I have been loving my Singe Beauty brushes, which are all over the place here. But these are also what I used in my last trying new makeup. I used these today along with the Lawless Lavender Palette once again. So if you haven't heard of Singe Beauty, my friend and YouTuber Aniel Kanikvis launched her own beauty brand and she kicked things off with a five piece eye brush set. So you have like a bigger blending brush, you have some smaller blending brushes, you have some more like flat shaders, and then also a little bit bigger of like a pencil brush which I really love, especially for the lower lash line, or it'd be great for detail work in the crease. These brushes are so soft. They make blending so easy. I'm not someone who wants to spend a lot of time blending. So these brushes are so perfect for that. I love that you have like the little bit like of a larger blending brush, but all the other brushes are a little bit on the smaller side. Like I just love these smaller brushes. I feel like it's easy to use. It's easy to place shadows exactly where I want them to be. I also love like just the color, the aesthetic of the brushes. Again, singebeauty.com is where you can find the five piece brush bundle, but I would definitely recommend these. These are the brushes that I have been using constantly. I always have my Sigma Switch next to me. If you don't have one of these, you should really have one of these. If you're doing your makeup a lot or you do a lot of different shadows, because I just am constantly doo -doo 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 -doo, cleaning off the pigment and then going in with my next eye look because I can't put these brushes the foundation, down. Foundation I have been raving about since I started trying it. I'll just touch on this briefly. This is the L'Oreal True Match. They reformulated their super popular foundation from a few years ago. It also now has a pump, but this foundation is so beautiful. I wear the shade N4 on here. It says super blendable foundation and it absolutely is. It just, honestly, you just, you start to apply it to your skin and it just blends itself. You can sit there and still continue to watch whatever YouTube video you're watching. Your foundation is going to be doing its own thing because that is what this foundation does. It'll give you medium coverage and a beautiful and natural finish and it will not move. I've been wearing it in the Vegas heat and it's just, it's beautiful. It's more affordable. I highly, highly recommend that one from L'Oreal. Uh, so Rare Beauty has this under eye brightener. Okay, I will say I think that this is a nice product. It's just not a product that I wear so often myself. I just don't necessarily feel like I'm missing something like this. It does come with the more the metal tip applicator, which is like nice and cooling. I'm just not a big layerer either, layerer for when it comes to like concealer or my under eyes. And honestly, with something like the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Dark Spots, I feel like this does what like this and a regular concealer would do. Like whenever, when I was testing out the one from Rare Beauty, I was always like, oh, you know, like this is pretty. I just don't feel like I need to take an extra step. And if you have other products, like this one from It Cosmetics, it's like, maybe on like the no makeup makeup days and you just want to brighten a little bit, but I don't know. Again, I just feel like I'm going to be reaching for the It Cosmetics so much. So it's a fine product. It's just not one that I wear a lot. It doesn't fix a problem that I have, but maybe it will fix a problem that you have. That is what I will say. And then speaking of concealers, Ofra also came out with their Perfect Cover Concealer. I actually really like this one. If I'm looking for a little bit more coverage, this is one that I have been reaching for. And I use the shade Light Sand, which I will say I think is just a touch too light for me. So I don't use it to like spot conceal like I would the It Cosmetics, but on the under eyes, it gives a really nice coverage, but it also is very smoothing is what I like the most about this one. Again, it's not gonna feel too heavy. It blends out easily and it just kind of gives a more smooth, like I almost wanna say like lift it look to the under eyes. So this is a really great option as well for a more full coverage concealer. I am an affiliate with Ofra and my discount code with them is Samantha. 
And then a couple mascaras that I have in here, the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift. I mean, I've been loving this one. I've been raving about this one. I had to buy another one. Um, I just get mine off of Amazon. So this is a beautiful, more affordable foundation. It's not moving. It is my most worn mascara right now. It doesn't move in the Vegas heat. And it really lifts the lashes and then lengthens them, makes them darker. Again, I've talked about this one so much, so I think that one's great. And a newer one that I've been trying is from YSL, and this is the Lash Clash. This is what I have on today, and I've actually been wearing it most of the week. I think this one is really beautiful. I had it in my last trying new makeup as well, and it just kind of thickens up the lashes. And I don't, I don't really want to say that it clumps them together, but it kind of like groups the lashes together very naturally and extends them and it makes them more voluminous and it's like a natural like it's like your lashes but better like it's not like i'm wearing false lashes or anything like that but it's, it's definitely a your lashes but better mascara which i can appreciate sometimes i want a little bit more which is when i would do the telescopic lift or the rare beauty but if i'm looking for like just a, a go-to natural beautiful mascara this one from ysl is a good one another highlight that i've been trying is from charlotte tilbury this is the face architect highlighter in pillow talk glow this one i think is pretty but if i was doing a beauty battle between this and the rare beauty because they released around the same time i would definitely choose the rare beauty i don't know why that was so hard for me to open but this one is still pretty it just is a little bit more noticeable on the face like it's a little bit more powdery than the rare beauty not by much honestly like not by much again if i'm just like comparing the two like the rare beauty was over here charlotte over here i would i would go for the rare beauty again i still think that it's pretty but especially because i don't wear highlights it's not something that's totally blowing me away i just felt like it was a little bit more powdery like could show the pores a little bit more on the face so I would recommend the Rare Beauty if you're looking for a new highlighter. I've also been using the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer with 4% niacinamide. I had this in my last trying new makeup. I purchased this from Amazon because I love e.l.f. primers. I did a video on affordable makeup I think is better than high-end, and I was raving about so many of the e.l.f. primers, and this one I think is great as well. The Power Grip Primers from e.l.f. are going to be a little bit more of a sticky base, if you kind of think like the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. That's what these are, so if I am going somewhere and I really want my foundation or my concealer and powder combo to last, I'm reaching for the ones from e.l.f. I wanted to test out the one with niacinamide. So far, so good. I honestly just don't feel like I've been trying like a skincare type product for long enough to really be able to give a full review. But so far for the couple weeks that I've had it, I think that it's a good primer and more affordable. Uh, and then from Sigma Beauty, I have their new cream blushes that just came out. These are stunning. I have it on today. This one is in the shade Corda Rosa. I might have said new mod in my members video, but this is Corda Rosa and I think it's stunning. This is a very natural looking blush and you can build it up so easily, which I really enjoy because sometimes with blushes or cream blushes, you can kind of like think the NARS. The liquid blush from NARS, if you've been with me for that long. I mean, once you get into a situation where it's like you're just going to be a clown no matter what you do, it's kind of terrifying. This one, you can build it up so well. Again, I used a brush today to apply the blush. I've also used a damp sponge. It's gorgeous. It's very, very easy to use. And again, I think it gives a nice glow to the cheeks. Like this with the Tower 28 Contour Bronzer is just making my base makeup, I think, look so, so pretty. So highly recommend those as well from Sigma if you are looking for a cream blush. I think this video is going up before, I, maybe it's going up the day their sale ends. I believe they're still having a 40% off for their anniversary sale. So my code Samantha actually gets you 40% off online. So make sure you check that out. I think it ends April 30th. And then lastly, a final product for the speed reviews is from Milk Makeup. And this is their Pore Eclipse Matte Setting Spray. I've been really excited to try this and I've been really enjoying it. So a lot of people have told me like you really want to shake it well but especially because we have such high temperatures right now and i want my makeup to be not only long wearing but i don't want to be like super shiny oily i do have more dry skin which i should have mentioned since i'm doing so many reviews i am more dry skin after wearing makeup for so many hours and outside and sweating like i want something that's going to keep me matte so far i've been really liking this again i don't feel like i've i've only been trying this one for maybe just over a week so and i don't wear makeup every single day so i still don't feel like i can give the most thorough review with this one but i can definitely notice a difference when i do spray it 
it is mattifying my skin which I appreciate this would be a good one to throw in like my pool bag and if I feel like I'm getting a little bit shiny just do a little spray again with this one so so far so good with the milk makeup uh, spray which I will definitely keep using but that is all of the makeup that I have been trying out so far this year the best of the worst of some items that I've decluttered products that I just think were okay, and some standouts to me. So I will have everything linked down below. I would love to know if you've been trying any of these products or what are some products that I passed over, I decided not to buy, decided not to keep, and you're like, wait, girl, I think that you would really love that one. Definitely let me know in the comments. But as always, if you enjoyed this one, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go, and I'll see you in my next one.